guys, it's Terry and Ron from Herrick Sports. Now, we like to swing engine clubs. Today, I'm gonna attempt to teach Ron how to swing <laughs> a kettlebell. So Ron's never done kind of uh, free weight work like this. Nope. So I'm gonna go through the basic progressions, starting with the deadlift, and then show him how to swing the kettlebell in a safe and effective way. Yes, please. But before we do that, remember, click like and subscribe. To keep, uh, to keep us keen on putting out more free content. And if you've got any suggestions or comments, remember to write below. Let us hear it. A lot of fun. Good. So, Ron, we're going to show you the deadlift. So, the deadlift, if you've never done it before, you're going to stand right over the kettlebell. So, we want the, the actual center of mass of the kettlebell and our own center of mass to be in the closest distance as possible. So, we stand right over it. Yes. The feet are pointing in a comfortable way, so it can be either straight ahead or slightly out to the side. Check. From there, we're going to bend the knees and push the butt out. So we have a straight back. You want uh, the arms to follow down the inner legs like this. Keep a straight back. Now I'm checking. Looking good, Ron. The, where do you feel the weight? The weight is... Uh, on your feet, like right through your feet. On the toes or the heels? No, no, the heels. Okay, good. This is where we want to be, right? So from there, you can imagine your, your arms are two chains or two ropes. Yes. You just want to grab onto the kettlebell yes. so you support it. And from there, you're going to straighten up by using your butt. There. And this is what we're looking for. Try to squeeze a bit your midsection. Bring the shoulders back if you can. And look ahead. So this is the finish portion of the deadlift. We've got a straight line, more or less, from the ear, shoulder, hips, and the midfoot. Right, from there, we're going to start by bending the knee slightly and pushing the butt out, and lower the kettlebell right between your feet again. Yeah, so it should be that I could put a little mark here, and every time you return to that mark on the ground, up and down, yeah? Good. Look ahead. That's it. Shoulders back. Engage the midsection on the top. Push the butt out. Right. If you're having problems coordinating this, what are we doing? Drop the kettlebell? Well, not drop it. Pull it up. So, now we're on. You're going to walk towards the wall. All the way up. Yeah? And you're going to place your foot about a foot away from the wall. Yes. Yeah, a bit more, slide a bit more. Okay. From there, what I want you to do is place your hands on top of your thighs. Yes. Right? And you're going to push your butt back. And when you reach the knees, boom. You can see that? Ron's butt is touching the wall. His hands on the kneecaps. This is the actual perfect Oh, it's sequence. kind of a triangle measurement. Yes? Yes? Okay. Yes. And now I'm still in balance, Oli. Ron is still in balance of his feet. He's not leaning back against the wall. Yeah. He's not about to fall forward. And he stands up, straighten up. Boom. That's it. This is such a great tool. Instant feedback. People will know. You either touch the wall or you don't. Or you touch it before or you touch it lower, you know. And now, yeah, right here you're leaning back, maybe a bit more, but uh, as you were before. Now, try to imagine you're going to put your butt on the ground instead. Ah, you see the difference? So now, this is more like a squatting. Ron is moving his hips up and down a lot more compared to the deadlift where we want to push the hips back. So have squatting, and now do it again like you did. Try to have the hands on the kneecaps by the time you touch the wall. Okay, so you see the difference. Now his chest is looking and his eyes is looking towards the ground. When we are squatting, our chest is looking at the wall. Yeah? So this is the difference. Hips are high up mm. in the deadlift than they are in the squat. That's it. Okay? Cool. We'll remove it. Now, Ron is doing really well, and this is because he's been practicing lots of swings with the Indian clubs. Yeah. <laughs> Same movement, of course, with the Indian clubs, we swing outside the legs, but the hinge, that pattern here of falling and unfolding... Yeah. Took a while to get the flat back going on there, but... Yeah, it's, kind of, it's the same thing, right? So, 
The deadlift is okay. This is the first step that you want to master before you start swinging kettlebells. Now we're going to start swinging very lightly. So Ron is using a 12 kilo kettlebell and to make it even safer for him to make sure that he learns the groove. From the start, I'm going to use a simple box. This is our wine rack. So Ron, yes, give me that big ball. You're going to be here. Yes. Right? That's going to be, let me show you first. Let me show you. Please observe from the side. So, pull the pants up. Now, when we swing, we want the, um, the distance, like I said, with the deadlift, to, from the center of mass of the kettlebell and our own center of mass to be as close as possible. So, if I'm swinging like this, you can see the distance is great. That's not good. That's not good. But if my arms are, are in, then it's a short distance, right? So the boxes, what it does, is forces you to keep it up. Ha! Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> I'll keep it in, close to the body. Yeah? So if you start hitting the box, whoop, and you leave marks on your box. Absolutely. They're Good. Built, they're indestructible wine boxes. Good. So you start by standing over the box. Yes. Now you're going to do the deadlift, like you did with your hands. Yeah? There he is, so straighten up, and from there I want you to start a little side swing and straighten up fully. So we want to engage the quads, or the thighs, and the butt, and the abs, and look up as you swing. So on the way down you look towards the ground, as the top of the swing you're looking straight ahead. Ron, this is looking good, we're going to stop. And we're going to show the viewers the side view. Boom. So same thing that you've just been doing. Nice and clean reps. We start with a deadlift. And then you just use your hips to drive the kettlebell back and forth. And remember to engage the thighs and the butt at the top of the swing. The breathing can be done two ways. We can come back to that in another video. For now, it's just getting the basics in place. Right, so we can see nice flat back is pushing the butt out. The weight is distributed nicely centered on his feet. The arms are straight, not pulling, not lifting. You can see that the kettlebell is in the prolongation of his arms on the back swing, one straight line, and again, one straight line to the front. So when you, good run. I so can when begin to feel the yeah the swing. So our upper body is basically, uh, or our whole body is working as a counterweight, yeah, uh, in relationship to the kettlebell. Now, when you start swinging, don't get all excited about swinging up all all over the place, right? Stay tight, small swings. Just strengthen that uh, that groove. So for guys like me, they're trying to strengthen up the back now. Yep. No dramatic. No dramatic. First, get keep the it in. Technique. Keep it tight. Yeah, keep it tight. Keep the technique right. Eventually, you can go a bit heavier and heavier, as you know, according to your level. And then, of course, we want to sort of aim at swinging around shoulder height or something like that. I mean, okay. there are many different options when it comes to it. Let's build up to that. We're going to build up to it. So, one last tip for today <coughs> um, that we're going to show you shortly. But again. Please support us, click like, subscribe. The way we start the swing. Now, when you're confident that you can do the deadlift properly and you feel that the swing is okay, there's no need to just deadlift and then start the swing. We want to start pull and we're ready swinging. So what we do is we're going to have the bell this time is going to be slightly ahead of us, mm -hmm. right? We do the same thing. Fall at the hips, the straight back, yeah, the knees are bent. What I do, I keep my shoulders back. So I've got short arms compared to this would be long arms, short arms. You see the difference, right? Short arms, and what I do, the bell is a bit in front of me, I pull it back between my legs. Okay. And then I straighten up. I'm going to help Ron a bit with the backswing by pushing on the bell if he's ready for it. Boom. Good. Feels good? Yeah. So it may 
imagine I'm coming behind you and I'm whipping your ass. You want to straighten up explosively, but only if it's, it feels good, yeah? Ah. It's okay? Yeah. So I'm going to push gently on the kettlebell to start with. I'm standing to the side. So tighten up, because now I'm going to push harder and harder on every rep. You feel that? Yeah. Stand balance. Good. And relax, Ron. Well, I must say I'm impressed. The guy never done a kettlebell Who knew? or kettlebell swing before. And the transfer from the Indian clubs is quite apparent. I mean, the mechanics are there fully in place. Okay, it's irritating, Terry. You're so good at this, but I mean, you train a lot of this. I mean, yes, yes. So let's, uh, I'm looking forward. Great. So stay tuned with us. We're going to bring out more tutorials with the kettlebells. And um, follow us social medias, Facebook, Instagram. We put different content across the channels. Uh, and remember, we also got the newsletter on herricksport.com. And if you are a kettlebell swinger, why not become an Indian club or paladandle swinger as well? This will do wonder for your overhead position and shoulder mobility and stability. So uh, check us out, ericsport.com. Catch you guys later. It's a lot of fun. See you out there.